Hi, my name is Michaela Verdi. I've been a student at Northeastern University for four years. And after all this time, it's become hard to ignore that this campus has a serious problem. I matriculated in the fall of 2019, eager to start my college career in a brand new city. For me, it was a whole new world. It was an exciting world until that world came crashing down. In 2020, life on campus at Northeastern was altered forever. The community was in shock and nobody knew what the future would hold. All of this chaos was of course in reaction to Chicken Lou's and Rebecca's closing within months of each other. Once upon a time, your average student could seek relief from the stresses of school in the form of a delicious sandwich. The Nicole, the TKO, they could solve your life's problems and fill you up better than any meal from Steast. But now, without these campus icons, Northeastern is lost. Where can you find a good sandwich on campus? Where can you find that home away from home? Well, as I enter my final semester, I've tasked myself with my greatest challenge yet. Finding Northeastern's next top sandwich. So current state, there's really only two places on campus that you can get a sandwich, reliably. You've got Wollaston's and the other one. And you can also do Subway. We're not even going to consider Subway as a contender. Previous Northeastern University students might, but not us. So really, we've got one place to try. Wollaston's. Wollaston's has like 30 sandwiches, something like that. And a lot of students don't actually know how to order. It's kind of a scary process. There was recently a Reddit post made where somebody asked, how do you step-by-step -step order at Wollaston's? Because the youth are scared. So with this project, I'm gonna do a couple of things. I wanna find the best sandwich at Wollaston's. I wanna teach people how they can get their own sandwich from there. And also, if everything goes according to plan, I want to get NUTV their own sandwich at Wollaston's. Now, if you've been to Wollaston's recently, the boards are full. I don't think that we're going up there without making a statement. So, what I'm gonna do here in the NUTV office is reach out, starting now. Okay, does Wollaston's have an email? Boy, I hope so. Does Wallace's have an email? Oh, Wallace's has like three different websites. Contact us. No, <laughs> they only have a form. It's okay, we're filling it out. First name, Kayla. Last name, Verdi. Email. Select. Subject, media, inquiry. NUT, video. Collaborate with me? Hello! Oh. Hello. My name is Michaela Verdi. I currently serve as the Vice President for NUTV, Northeastern's premier on-campus video club. I am reaching out to present, no, to request, do I need another name? Yes. I want another name to request, no, to inquire about a potential video collaboration between my organization and the community staple that is Wallace. Don't blow it up a little bit. As a student at NU, I have noticed a number of my peers express confusion at how to know when it comes to ordering at Wallace's. It would be my dream. <laughs> no, that's too much. It would be my pleasure to work with the store on a video that not only showcases the ordering process at Wallace's, but also introduces the community to some of the staple sandwiches. At NUTV, we have a story history of reviewing <laughs> local eateries in our news does reviews series. Okay, quick, which news reviews can I link? What's our most professional? <laughs> no, I'm not linking a very machine one. Uh, news does reviews. I can't link Amelia's. Um, uh, which one do we not curse in? Maybe it's Layla. Maybe it's Layla too long. Oh, no, this is the best. It's probably the best idea. Um, oh, the cupcakes want to be normal. Uh, if you're looking for food reputations, check out our playlist. Good luck on that. Boston Charlotte, I think we said that they have rats. So, okay, I'll give you some of these. They're not going to watch the whole thing. There's no way to watch the whole thing. Actually, maybe they don't link one. Maybe they just say that we have a story history. Here, I'll, I'll, give, them, I'll give them the title and then we can get back on them. We recently reviewed pizza spots. On, is it the first time? Yeah, sorry. These are the worst hippie spots on the hill. In. It would be my great pleasure to work with Wallace on such a video. Of course, our reviews would be candid, but it would be great 
chicken, some sort of cheese, I forget which kind, chipotle mayo, and the typically the banana peppers, but not for me. And it just felt a little one note, not a lot of flavor, didn't really pack a punch, but I do always enjoy the bread at Wallaston's, and their chicken tenders are, they're good, high quality chicken tender. So I'm going to give it, I'd eat it again. I'd buy it again in hopes that it'd be better, so I'd go with a three out of five pistols. Hi, my name is David. I ordered the Hollywood, which might be a smallest and exclusive, I don't know. It had um, grilled chicken, roasted red peppers, lettuce, honey mustard on a roll. Um, I feel, oh, and pickles. I ordered it with no pickles. They were out of roasted red peppers, so I didn't get that either. Um, it was okay. I, I wouldn't order it again, um, but the sandwich content was good. However, the honey mustard soaked into the bread, so it was just kind of a soggy mush. And it's not like the sandwich was sitting around. Like, I, I ordered it, and then I immediately ate it. So I'm not really sure where that's coming from, but um, that was not an enjoyable experience. Um, my feelings toward the sandwich... Mostly ambivalent. I feel like it could be good if it didn't soak in, but the fact that there were no peppers and I don't like pickles makes it difficult to like the sandwich. I'm gonna have to give it a, a two out of five, not not on the good side of Wallace and sandwiches. All right, I'm Adam Viazenko, um, and I had the hot gamma melta from Wallace and, and that has chicken tenders, chipotle mayo, bacon, uh, and banana peppers, and I believe that's it. Um, and I quite like banana peppers on a sandwich. Um, not a lot of places have it that commonly, but um, Wallison's has banana peppers on a lot of their sandwiches, which I'm a fan of. Um, overall, I like the Vagant Melta. The one thing I think Wally's has improved is their bread. Um, it's kind of lame. But overall, I give it a 4 out of 5 pesky. chicken tendies, mac and cheese, and then you get a choice between buffalo sauce or barbecue sauce. I got buffalo sauce. If you get that with barbecue sauce, you're wrong. Um, 
his mom says talk about your feelings towards the sandwich. I wouldn't say I'm romantically attracted to the sandwich, I feel like we're gonna keep things platonic. But it was pretty good, except I feel like bread could be better. It's kind of like a bad bread to kill you know, so I give it 4 out of 5 to 6. Hi, I'm Gabby Ripper. I got the chicken and prosciutto sandwich, which has chicken, also prosciutto, uh, mozzarella, pesto, banana peppers, and a tomato. And I think it was a great sandwich. Loved it. I would probably give it four and a half out of five Huskies, but I don't know if that's just me being biased because I'm a real pesto fan. But I would say it's got something for everybody. It's not too heavy. Um, it's delicious. And yeah, big, big fan. Four and a half out of five Huskies. Great sandwich. Would recommend. I'm Maddie. I'm a first year computer science major, an NUN alumni ambassador, and I got the George Lakes' chicken spicy sandwich. On the sandwich, it's a small ciabatta, chicken tenders, I believe, uh, cheese, bacon, hot honey. Delicious. Um, this is my second time getting this sandwich. It does taste a little bit different, but it is still very tasty. Um, I like how it is very, very warm when it comes out. Chicken tenders are decent. Bacon and everything is fine. Um, the hot honey is like a mild spice, and it's nice, calm, not too energetic, but delicious. Yeah. Anyways, I just like this chicken spicy. Like this sandwich really represents me. Um, I have had this once before when I ordered it. My roommate turned to me and said, "That's so southern of you." Um, I'm from North Carolina. It is indeed fried chicken, bacon, and cheese. The sandwich. So it is kind of like if it was on a biscuit, it'd be a breakfast sandwich. Um, so I feel like it really comes through to make me happy and makes me proud to be eating this sandwich. Really enjoy it. Uh, out of five Huskies, I think I'd give it four and a half Huskies. Hi, I'm Lawrence, and I got the George Lightness ch Chicken Spicy. It has fried chicken, bacon, pepper jack, um, and chipotle mayo sauce. I've had several Wally sandwiches, and I have to say that was a little dry. Um, I like the fact that it's like on ciabatta, so it's a small sandwich because I can't stand eating like a really big sandwich from Wally's. I can never finish it. I have like two halves of different sandwiches in my fridge right now, um, so I like the fact that it was small. Um, but again, it was a bit dry. I like some, you know, juicy fried chicken. Um, I will give it. A four out of five Huskies. I got the Head 2 Brute. It was chicken tenders, Parmesan cheese, garlic aioli, and lettuce. Uh, that was quite delicious, especially the cheese. Uh, very good. It's very well melted. I wish it had like some more sauce on it or something. It was kind of dry. But, and maybe like some more vegetables like tomato or something. But otherwise, it's very delicious. I would recommend it. I'd give it probably a four out of five plus. Okay, hi, I'm Christine. I got the Sigma Cappadini from Wally's, which has grilled chicken, fresh mozzarella, pesto, roasted peppers, and balsamic vinegar. But I got it without the peppers because I'm not a fan of peppers. So this is my slight variation of the sandwich. Um, my feelings towards it were that it was okay. The balsamic was a little bit strong. But, which it usually is, but I got one of a similar sandwich from Crest down Huntington, and I'm not gonna lie, I do think that one was better. So I think I would give it a three and a half out of five Huskies. Hi, my name is Armand. I had the No Name sandwich, which is a very interesting name. It had banana peppers, turkey, barbecue sauce, pickles. Yeah, um, I would say that I'm not a massive fan of turkey, but I am a big fan of pickles, banana peppers, and barbecue sauce, and I feel like that combination went well. I would have probably had a separate meat, perhaps maybe like a chicken teriyaki, or maybe even like a pepperoni or whatnot, but I would say that I wasn't the most, I wasn't the biggest fan of the turkey, mainly because it was very dry. Hopefully they could put another sauce on it, but yeah, otherwise I'd say that it was around three and a half out of five Huskies. I would probably say if you add a little chipotle mayonnaise in there, that'd probably make it a little better. Hi, I'm Alana. I had the Kappa Wrap. 
Uh, it had guacamole, turkey, bacon, a chipotle mayo, and something else that I'm forgetting. Um, I thought it was pretty good. Um, it was kind of medi on the me mediocre side, but fairly good. So probably about a, between a 3.5 and a 4 out of 5 Huskies. Don't feel right saying a 3.75, but like maybe, I don't know. I ate it, it was solid. Will I eat it again? I don't know. It was a sandwich. My name is Valentina. The sandwich I got was the Big Apple. It was a vegetarian sandwich on whole wheat ciabatta. It had brie cheese, apple, and honey mustard. It was a pretty underwhelming experience. Actually, I'm pretty ambivalent towards the sandwich. Um, I think the thing that disappointed me the most was the honey mustard because I deliberately chose a sandwich with honey mustard because I enjoy honey mustard. Um, this one felt a little too potent, a little more like Bichon mustard, and that kind of threw me off. But I love a good brie and apple combination. Um, it's still a pretty average experience for me, so I'm gonna rate it 2.5 out of 5 Huskies. Oh, I would uh, appreciate it if for my one, we could do a little like old western sepia thing. Yeah, cool. I'm gonna tell you a story from long ago when there was a, a little eatery on campus by the name of Chicken Lou. My name is Bryce. Uh, I got the uh, eggs on the beach on an Osseo cheese bagel. So that was an uh, Osseo cheese bagel um, with an egg patty, sausage patty, cheese, chipotle ranch, and uh, chipotle mayo, chipotle ranch, chipotle sauce, and uh, a hash brown. And it was quite enjoyable. Um, it's very reminiscent of a thing I would get at Chicken Moose and uh, when that was still on campus, and it was very delicious. Um, yeah, I would say it's a little bit of like a, I don't know. I feel like I used to be able to eat like a lot of greasy food or whatever and I would be fine. And now sometimes I'm a little like, Ugh. so um, for that reason, if it was less like greasy, but also like I'm trying to be realistic, you know, cause I'm going to like Walston's Little Deli, getting an inherently hash brown sausage patty, all these things. So it's not their fault. So I'm just gonna say, for my own <laughs> digestive system failings, four and a half out of five Huskies. I'm, so I'm sorry about the first one. This has been NUTV News Does Reviews, Wallace's Sandwich. Maybe we will get a sandwich on the menu. Maybe we won't. But we had fun along the way. Signing off one last time, I'm Kayla Verde.